welcome back to the Black Mountains. My second visit here in six days after my attempt to walk the Skirid in Brinaru last weekend on the Monday. I'm here again on the last Sunday in August, bank holiday weekend. It's forecast to be around 26 degrees later on today, which is going to be quite warm. I'm currently walking the Beacons Way. I climbed up from Lanthony onto Balbach and I'm following the Beacons Way south along the ridge. I'm going to leave it actually very soon and head across the Vale of Uis. Uh, once I'm over there, I'm going to head through Kumyoi or Kumyai, however you say it. I'll try and look at the church there. And then I'm going to climb up along Offers Dyke, up and over Hatterall Hill. Back, then make my way back down to the start points along the Beacons Way. So apart from the very first ascent today up Balbach, everything so far is going to be new to me, which is really good. It should be about 11.5 miles in length. And yeah, a good day for it. Had a very quiet and peaceful 30 minutes admiring the view, the sounds of the breeze and the space here. I've had quite a stressful week emotionally and psychologically. I've been quite low to be honest. My sleeping routine and patterns have gone basically and I've been suffering with that. Um, but it's been so nice to do this now. I left early this morning so I can have time to do the route and also have some time out, which I really need right now. And the thing is, I moved to house a few months ago and I've always lived in quiet villages where it's easy to do that, but now I'm living on the edge of a town and I think I've overlooked the fact that even the small things are things I'm vulnerable to. So. I can constantly hear the sounds of the M5 motorway all day and all night and I'm not used to people playing loud music from their cars and kids playing across the road and screaming and things and all these small factors I think they gradually add up towards maybe how I'm feeling. And also in a more personal situation, I was thinking that I need to give someone else some space and some time, but now I'm thinking I could give myself some time and some space, which might not be a bad thing. Anyway, on with the walk.
just right at the southeastern corner of Hatchel Hill, and it's quite ferny and brackeny up ahead. It could be interesting, it could be frustrating. Okay, so that's two trick points. I've had my lunch break as well. I'm now heading back down towards Lanthony and the start of my walk, or the end point of my walk now. I'm going via a less trodden route across the, the edge of the hill, you could say. It's on the map as a right of way, but it's quite hard to find here on the ground. It's been a really good walk, a very good day out, and there's finally a breeze to cool me down a bit before I get back to my car. But thanks again for watching this video. And I will surely see you soon.